Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Probably for the best if it was all wiped away. So whoever comes next can start fresh. I don't share your pessimistic view. I still believe that human civilization has a chance to regain its lost glories. This is one reason I'm so passionate about my work. If I can learn the secrets of the ancients, perhaps we can avoid their fate. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job.
place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me? I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad we... Imogene is missing, and I want her found. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Do you know where she is? No, but that Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. What else is I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Even care. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because... There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. I can't believe you do. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes it more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. Got it.
You should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. Sweet. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Yeah, whatever. Let's get going already. It wasn't my idea for you to come down here poking your nose into my business. You could be a little more grateful to the person who's rescuing you. Oh, Thomas would have let me go eventually. But I was getting tired of waiting for him to come to his senses, so... Thank you. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Don't worry, I'll find my own way home. I'm not quite ready to face Mother. And... Thank you. I really do appreciate you coming to find me. He's Even though I didn't actually unit. need hey, hey. rescuing. It's clearing up. <laughs> Not now. This is maddening. Oh Edwards, my God! It's switch happening. over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? <laughs> oh, that's done it. 
Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. Hi. What's happening Not to now. You? If these people are inside on? Parsons, that was they free him? He's at Parsons, the old... It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? I found her. She's fine, by the way. Oh? Good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Caps is what you use for currents. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we... Got it. Good. Uh, make sure... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up. Let's hope we're not too late. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there we can see how bad things really are. Don't have the key. Can't pick this. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
disappearing at <coughs> my property. You are trespassing. <coughs> Got it. You okay? I just need to rest here a minute. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna need a password. Excuse me. We need to get to my office. I'm not dead yet. Then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too.
mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility the elevator, elevator is on the bottom floor. Right. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I heard. Hey. Something. with a key.
anyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let no them release Lorenzo. Only opens with a key. Get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Where's those balls? They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Get the way through the security doors! Hurry now! You've almost I'm got it. I'm opening the main door! Hey. Hurry! The equivalent is down! Jump! Apparently, even the what? simplest is oh! beyond the arcade. <laughs> the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. Bingo. Nice. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door, and let me out. Hurry. His powers are returning. Please, just open the door. Surely you can see that. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? If you don't set the generator soon, he'll free himself and then we're all dead. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Oh. Ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can! It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know, and all the rest of them. I never agreed to kill anybody. Why else would you have opened that door? There's only one way forward now. But don't worry, you will be rewarded. What Jack has taken from me, I will bestow upon you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. <clears throat> we'll talk after my family is dealt with. Let's go.
mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? I wasn't sure who was telling the truth, you or him. And now he's coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. I hired this idiot, and he betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. <sighs> Never mind. I'll just show myself out. Not so fast. We're not done here. Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jaftus wouldn't listen. Be you silent! Know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic worthless lives that is now over your time is up <laughs> Lorenzo. Well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. You really are insane, aren't you? Perhaps, by the old definitions. But things have changed while I've been locked away. The old rules no longer apply. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. Don't compare yourself to me. We're nothing alike. If you say so. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply. As needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. <clears throat> Please make yourself at home.